in this game, a couple of matchups that, like I say, got my attention or have my antennas up. And hopefully y'all antennas will be up too, man, if y'all looking for something to help us be victorious. But um, first matchup, man, we know what they receivers look like in terms of Cooper Cup and obviously Puka Nakoa. They have been winning a lot of one-on-ones this season. And uh, for Cooper Cup, historically, been winning a lot of one-on-ones, man, get a lot of separation. And we know the guys they'll be going against, right? Shannon Sullivan, Pat P, Levi, JPJ. We got to fight, period. Got to fight. We know that them dudes, man, create separation. We know those dudes can run routes. We know those dudes are really good, statistically and eyeball tests. But, man, y'all arrested. Y'all done had time to come up with some better communication, some better just ways to pass some of the stuff they're trying to uh, do defensively. And this one of the ones, man, where we got to be buttoned up because they're the two ones that could really kill us right now just based on personnel only. Now, we could talk scheme as a whole. We know they're going to try to run the ball. But in terms of the individuals, those are the two that really going to, you know, cause us the issues potentially. So, like I said, man, for Channing, Pat, Levi, JPJ, that's the one we got to be locked in on, man. Um, now we talk AD, Aaron Donald. Unfortunately, we have not had that trade happen just yet. You know man. what I need to see after this game? Uh -oh. Well, first, Steelers uh -oh. win, but I also uh -oh. need to see some type of interaction from <laughs> can, Aaron Donald with, with a Tomlin, maybe a Come picket. get me. Come get me. That's what Don't I need to see. Don't forget me. Hell to pit. Can we get the hell to pit picture at the end? We need something like that because Aaron Mike's Donald, picked up Aaron Donald saying, yeah. come get me to Kenny Pickett this is or come get Donald. me to Tomlin. That's what I need. <laughs> because it, it, it would be a lot Bring me home. No, stressful. no, no. Bring me Not, home. Come get me. That was the Odell thing. We need. Bring me home. You're right. I, I need to get back to the Steel You're City. Right. You're right, bro. I miss it. I miss the 412. I miss the 412. That's what we need. That's what, let him write 412 on like his tape or something, man. Oh, man, we need it. But unfortunately. Maybe wear a 412 hoodie. You see what I'm as saying? Your pre -game or some Nolak. Outfit. Or some Nolak. Yeah. See, he's going to have something Pittsburgh on. Some Pittsburgh. He needs something Pittsburgh on. We need a sign. Absolutely. But unfortunately, AD does play for the Rams this week. Cole, Isaac Sayumalo, James Daniels. The 3 0. All right, y'all got to jump this, man. I don't want no one on one smoke because we obviously know where he is one on one. I ain't about to sit here and, you know, pump that fake air on you. Y'all going to jump him, all right? Jump him. Make it look like y'all jumping him. Do not allow this man to take over the game. That's their guy up front, man. That's their guy. So, yeah, and we need to protect Kenny, okay? So, to keep Kenny from getting killed, y'all three jump AD. That's what we're going to be right there. And then after that, man, your boy 6'9, Kevin Dodson. Excited about him. I like what he's been doing. But Larry O, that's the one. Larry O has to win that matchup, man. And he should. Larry O got the explosiveness. He has the technique, the fundamentals. We pay him to do this. And let's be real, man. Larry O and Joby, in terms of the compensation, should be the better player in this matchup the whole time. So that's what he needs to look like, man, because that'll be a big part in terms of making the one dimensional. They want to run that ball. The way that they were doing it, like I said, last game, man, Dyson was a big part of what they were trying to do just in terms of their runs to the right side. Larry got to be bending that, man. If he wins that, man, that will make them have to sit back there and pass. And even though we don't like the matchups of Cup and Puka exclusively, I do like our matchups with healthy TJ potentially and healthy uh, Highsmith out there in terms of winning on the perimeter, rushing the passer. So that's that dynamic. Um, after that, man, we're going right to them offensive linemen. The two tackles, left tackle, Alaric Jackson, right tackle, Rob Heavenstein, Highsmith, and TJ got to cook these dudes. Now, I need TJ to have that heel right deep. Do you do acupuncture? Do you do any massage? Like, what you got, man? No. Can you fix his heel? Whatever. We need to make sure that that heel is as good as it needs to be because he's a big part of this, okay? It's a big part of this. I need pressure on both of these edges, all right? Both of these edges. So I need you out there, TJ. Don't you do me like that, all right? But last matchup that I got, man, to just kind of keep our eye on, it's your boy Kenny, man. Your boy Kenny. And obviously Matthew Stafford. Not in the sense of who's the better player in stadium, throw for 400 and stuff like that. I just simply need you to win the turnover battle. We're going to create turnovers because of how we play, and that's shown in multiple games. We can't have the turnover for us on offense. Be the better quarterback. 
Hey, hey. You we, said how you want to sit. No, but, but, Win the turnover yeah, battle, I mean, man. Out. Like last yeah. week against Lamar Jackson, right? Lamar had the stats first yeah. three quarters. But end of the day, Kenny was the better quarterback for the team and what the Steelers needed to get out of the stadium. With Fair the enough. Lamar Jackson threw the yeah. interception. Same thing. Deshaun Watson versus Kenny Pickett. I week that. two. Sean Watson had the turnovers. You like know, that. it's just when they say better, people be the better they, quarterback they get in the weird game. When they say be, better, be the better quarterback <laughs> in the game. They be acting weird. That's why I was just like just the turnovers because that is the big part of why he did finish better than all of those dudes. And think about the games where he didn't finish better. That's when he turned the ball over. He control that ball, man. He don't turn it over. We're gonna get out that stadium with a win. It's literally that simple, man. Yep, it's that simple. But if he turns it over, that's the part where we can have that issue. We're going to create some turnovers, though, man. We're definitely going to do that. We just can't be the ones giving it up as well. And as long as we don't do that, man, I like us a lot. Mm -hmm. But those, like I said, man, are the ones that, like I said, I'm really looking at in this matchup as really being able to swing this thing one way or the other. Because as a whole, it's not a lot with this Rams team that has you over here like, yo, we got to worry about that. We got to worry about that. We got to worry about this, this, this. But what they are is really good at a real select thing. It's like, yo, they know how to work Cooper Cup and Puka. All right, they run a nice toss play to the right and to the left. All right, they got Aaron Donald. He kicks butt in the inside. All right, and they got a quarterback that can get really, really hot, and he flashes elite at times. Flashes elite, but typically just really, really, really good. So we mentioned a couple times in yesterday's podcast how similar this game is to the Houston game. Mm -hmm. And was there another game this year? No, Vegas. I think, I think it's, yeah, probably more the Houston one. Yeah. Just you look on paper, and there's nothing that's really sticking out for me, particularly with the Rams' defense. That should yeah. hold us back on offense. Mm -hmm. If we want to run the ball, we should be able to run the ball. Yes. It's just O-line, be halfway decent, be average, be better than what you have been. And we can get back to Najee maybe getting 70, 80 yards. Seriously. You know, we, we can hand it off to him maybe 15, 16 times. He could get close to 100. Mm -hmm. Jalen Warren, same thing. You know, hand it off to him five or six times, incorporate him in the passing game. He gets off. And then I feel the same way about if we wanted to pass the ball. What's what's stopping us from getting Pickens seven, eight catches? What's Sir, stopping us from getting the Deontay seven, eight catches? The only catches? person that can do anything is Canada. Donald. You said uh, Canada. Aaron Donald, or is that going to be on Matt Canada too? If, it could be if, if we don't say you my Lou Cole and Daniel's Kate Block. We put that on Canada because that to me is is what. Well, if we're setting dudes, up man. someone one on one against Donald, we could point to Canada on that. But yeah, we. I mean, I think the obvious thing is we're going to be doubling them or tripling them. That's the obvious thing going into this. I hope that's part of our game plan. It is, but that also means our tackles are isolated. So it's going to be a give and take, and that's the part where we got to make sure our tackles hold up. Now, Byron Young, I think he has three or three and a half sacks already as the rookie. He said he's the only one that I think is the concern in terms of winning just one-on-one -on -one pass rush, but he's not Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's the main guy, but that's just the give and take of when we put all that attention on AD, these dudes now become naked, man. So that's how I feel on offense. Like we yeah. should, we should be able to move the ball. Now I felt the same way going into that Houston game, and we did not do that. No. Defense versus the Rams offense a little bit scarier going into the game than what we went up against in Houston, Respect. just because of the Rams having Stafford, having a Cooper. More Cup. proven, yeah. yeah. Texans didn't have they. They got a C.J. Stroud. They got Nico Collins. Yeah. They also got a Tank Dell. Not as scary. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just got to step up on defense. I mean, the the pass rush got to get there. Just keep playing how you're playing in terms of T.J. Watt and Highsmith and that front seven as a whole. We just got to we we got to pray we get J.P.J. in this game more. Maybe hell, maybe even get Darius Rush some time. They ain't Baptized activated by fire. Just yet, though, have they? Maybe they'll maybe on the weekend. Maybe on Saturday, Friday night, Saturday. We need to be able to make adjustments too. If we got safeties and linebackers up on Cooper Cup, like we we got to figure something out. We do, but at the same time, every adjustment, it has a pro and con to it. That's the only thing. Well, we got to double them then. You got to yeah. have help. Figure something out. Yeah. Because we can't be doing that. Uh, yeah, don't turn the ball over. Force Stafford to throw a pick or two. 
And we get a lucky fumble going in our direction. Well, they're going to have new running backs. We do know that. Dudes that have not taken as many snaps. So typically, I know I was joking about the gunner thing. Oh, man, he needs more touches. But in all seriousness, though, the familiarity with just holding the ball, taking the hits. A lot of times, man, if you're not accustomed to getting hit, them type of things happen. You put that ball on the ground because you're like, man, I ain't got hit like that in a minute. Oh, this was different. Oh, I should have protected a little bit better this way. Those are all the things that, trust me, within, you know, the Steelers defensive meeting room, they're talking about that. But you already see them hunt the ball. Larry, TJ, Minka, it always pops up on tape. So we already do that. But it's even more of an emphasis versus dudes that don't typically, you know, get a ton of touches. The more I think of it, we, we should be locking in on Cooper Cup. And then it comes down to the 1v1 bat. I don't know who's going to play in the secondary and for how much. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever it is, Levi, Pat P, JPJ, win the 1v1s against Puka and Tutu Atwell. No. That's not that tall of a test. If we no, could if we could if we could double but, Cooper but to act like Puka. Bro, Puka is what 20 yards behind Stefan Diggs right now, bro. Diggs third in the league in, in receiving yards, man. Think about that, bro. Like I know Puka is new, but Puka is still he's proven that he can kick some butt. The magic's worn off a little bit with Cup. Oh back. no, bro! Oh no, man! He's still good, but oh no, he would be our leading receiver right now, wouldn't he? He would be, mm-hmm. and he we love Pickens. Be. We love Pickens, and he would be our lead. And it's still, I think he's up by like hundred fifty. All I'm saying is, we got guys that should be able to play the cornerback position in the NFL at a decent level. This is true. Can we cover yeah. this, Puka dude? Can you can you at least make it competitive? Not have him go off for a buck thirty. If he gets fifty yards, fine. Ah, I'm banking on pass rush because we haven't seen a lot so far to do it to Puka while Cooper has been out, and that's my concern. If Puka was doing this with Cooper there the whole time, I think it's a little bit different because it's like, oh yeah, it's Cooper, man. Cooper is guy, but it's like that hasn't been the case. It's been Puka. Cooper is the one who returned. And it's like, all right, we're getting a little adjustment here. We're going to see how it balances out. But he's shown that he can stand alone, at least for that sample size. Whereas we're asking our corners right now, who do we think is our best corner in stadium that's been proven? We say JPJ. Right. He's proven the most this season to me. Think about that, right? That's a little bit different convo than what we talk about proving from Puka. JPJ. Match him up one on one against Puka. Get Pat P, Levi on cup, cup and always have double coverage on him. And then 2 2 Atwell versus whoever. That's what I'm calling for. For sure. Have JPJ fall, which is something we don't do. Yeah. For multiple reasons. Make Deke DC and OC. There it is. Hey, man, Travis, I'm to play both ways. Why you can't call both ways? Shoot. Let's go, man. Let's go. I just we need the pass rush to get there. I mean, it has to be the pass it's rush. It's pretty bro. clear. It's got to yes. be like the Raiders game where <laughs> yes. Collinsworth kept saying, yes. "Jimmy G's making one read and he doesn't have time to even exactly. get to a second. So yes. that's what we need. Obviously, Stafford's going to yeah. try to go to his guy Cup. Let's make sure Cup's mm-hmm. covered early and often, and then he's not going to have time to go to either Puka or right. Tutu. That's or Higby. To me, that's how we went. Our pass rush has to make sure he can't get to that second read. Because and we got to stop the run first. Absolutely. That's where I need my man Larry. DeMarvin's supposed to be back. I need him. Talking Keanu, I need him up front. You got to control the interior part of their offense line. Centers and guards, you got to control that part. But I think if we do that, then yeah. The next thing is you got to win in this pass rush. They, It's the weirdest thing. They obviously throw the ball, but I feel like they're built better to run. I like their O-line better in run-blocking situations, personally, man. Kyron Williams was good for him. Yeah. I'm glad he's not playing this week. I'll yeah. tell you that. All right, what do you got? Predictions. <sighs> so for me, man, I like it. Now, I don't like the fact that TJ in this Hill situation has popped up, but I'm not going to let that deter my spirits, okay? Because to me, man, that is the difference. I do feel like we win with our pass rush. We win up front, and Kenny makes the least amount of mistakes than Stafford. That's our recipe this year. That's what I'm anticipating our recipe Stafford being. does come. like throwing picks. Okay, you catch what I'm saying, baby. You he, catch what I'm saying. He's already got five this year. You catch what I'm saying. 
that's the answer right now, man. We went up front in terms of creating that hostile environment. We're going to create turnovers. Offensively, Kenny, don't turn that ball over. We're going to get out that stadium, man, but I got it 23 to 20. I think it's a tight game, man, because we don't score a lot of points. We know this. We went ugly. We're going to kick field goals. We're going to have some short fields. We're going to have some oh, head I'll scratching take 23. moments. But 23 sounds 23 beautiful to right 20. Now. And it's out there to buy. Typically, after the bye week, you're a lot more buttoned up. We saw the big uptick in our offense just a year ago post buy. So we know that that is something that happens here. And more importantly, it happens under Coach Tom and Coach Teams. Typically, after the bye, it's a big uptick in production in terms of winning, in terms of being hot, finishing the year, getting ready for postseason. This is when it all starts, man. So, yeah, I got it 23 to 20. I do think we will see that improvement offensively and across the board. But, nah, it's still going to be nasty. It's still going to be some of that ugliness. We're going to still be over here like, bro, I can't believe it, it was a bye week and y'all still doing it. Oh, my God. We're going to still have some of that. I'm just throwing it out there now. But we're going to be better. The players suggested some plays to Canada. I did and they're going to be implemented into the now, game how, plan. How'd you feel that it was Najee and Mason Cole, though? Because those are the two people that everybody doesn't like. Everybody says Mason Cole needs to be cut, put James Daniels in there at center. Everybody been trying to trade 2-2 since the offseason. But it was 22, and Mason Cole just stayed back, did the extra time, brought the plays into the coaching staff. So I didn't know how y'all felt about that one. I liked it, though. Yeah, I don't care, as long as they're better running plays than what we've been throwing out there. For sure. Obviously, they're seeing some things like, yo, yeah, this type of run ain't really working with me Sabot- being out there. Sabotage Mason Cole? No. Oh, I'm not not that's going there. Crazy. Definitely not. That's crazy. He's a part of the Canada, Well, if you want to include Mason Cole with the offense as a whole, sure. Come because on, Canada man. sabotaged this whole offense. Sabotage but. Mason Cole then, man. Nah, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. It's just I don't know, it's just like crazy to me. Like you don't I know it's probably something that's more common than what I'm gonna say right now, but why aren't you hearing this type of shit from other teams around the league? Players are giving the offensive coordinator plays. I know it's I know it's a collaborative environment and whatnot, <laughs> That's but what like it, it just does it, happen, it, bro. It, it kind of feels weird. It's because of how we've already had our mind made up about Matt Canada. So any oh, and it's because of how out, bad the offense is. So anyone suggesting so plays feels like yeah. okay, well, yeah, we need something. Whoever it is, I don't care. It could be the garbage. Th- man. Think about this, right? Why are you surprised that people act like that about a recommendation when people didn't even want to give him credit for a basic built-in check call? People were ready to fight tooth and nail before they were going to give Matt Canada credit. So many people that have never dove into like that part of football, dove into that part of football looking to discredit him and were upset that they found that, oh, it actually validated him. So, of course... When a report of this comes out, it's definitely going to feel way more sensational, way worse. But it's like, dude, Ryan Shays, he would co- collaborate with Coach Tomlin. He would have plays that he thought. It just wasn't as sexy because it wasn't deemed as, yo, this is the reason. Circling a guy, highlighting it. But it happens, bro. It does. I just feel like Canada should be the teacher, should be the one. A little bit more ahead of the game. But I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure this type of stuff happens Think about more it, though. often. This is the first time that you've heard a report, and they stayed back and said a couple of plays. And now we're about to act as if that they have created a whole game plan and Matt Canada just did a little bit. But that's that's where I'm like, yo, it's not I'm just to saying extent, why, but the way that you make it sound like that's why, the extent. Why ain't, why ain't Matt Canada have these plays already? What do you mean? You think that they drew up new plays? I don't know what plays they're giving them, but it's just like, man, Canada, you, you got to see what's not working out here. Can we switch it up? Can we can we do something else? Because what you're calling is not working. Let's do some different play. Like you, you should be ahead of the curve and not relying on Najee and Cole to come through for all this. Their job is to play out there. And, yeah, they, they could improve with their – Mason Cole in particular. It's, it's just hilarious, bro. Y'all will blame everybody but the people that actually do the job, bro. It is crazy, bro. It is crazy. Not just you in the chat, too. It'd be crazy. I'm like, bro, we really go put everything on this man that does not do anything on the field. This is crazy. I get it, though. I get it. It's it's, it's comforting. I get it, bro. But not necessarily. Like, the offense has just been bad. So, th- I mean, that's why these type of stories are popping up. If the offense is good, no one gives a shit. But these type of things always do happen. But... This is what I'm saying. It's just the, the narrative part. That's all. 
It's a narrative thing. Everybody got a hand in it, though, bro. Everybody got a hand in it. So who who we say has been better at their job, Mason Cole or Nash? How you feel about that? Because uh, literally all last week, everybody talked about how Mason. terrible Mason has been. Probably literally Mason's last week, everybody talked about how bad of a player Mason Cole is. That was the whole thing, right? You got to get Mason Cole out loud. Got to get him out. Got to get him out. He's had a downtick in 2023 compared to 2022. <laughs> Najee, I, I think some of his struggles have been mm-hmm. offensive line and scheme related. Okay. He doesn't look hurt. Like he, Najee doesn't look bad. It's just Najee running into brick walls, running into defenders. Najee being out there when the defense knows it's going to be a run. Like it's, yeah. But I think Jalen Warren's better for the offense. That's the thing. Like I think Jalen Warren's been their better running back between the two when you're talking about the position. Mm-hmm. But in terms of Mason Cole versus not, yeah, I think I think Mason Cole's had a little bit of a rougher year than Najee. For sure. It's all good, baby. It's one of the ones, though, man. When they start winning, everything settles down. But that's ultimately why everything feels like super sensationalized when you see, oh, man, they did what? I'd like oh, to see Matt Canada go to Najee and Mason Cole and say, hey, I got but this if, wide variety but, but, of plays. How are we feeling about this? So you don't think he does? I hope so. But no, no, no. Let's ask him. But no, but think about it. You still wouldn't believe it because your mind has already made up that Canada would is the issue. I would believe it if they no, said it. We haven't, heard, we haven't think, heard that think story. About the, Deke, think about this. Nobody wanted to believe that Kenny had the ability to change calls or make any checks, right? That was the narrative. And everybody went hell bent to prove that Kitty said "f you Canada" to George Pickens and threw the touchdown pass. Even yourself, right? And then you did all that diving believe. until you found out what really would happen, right? Well, that's what I wanted to. So believe. why can't this be the exact same thing? Why could he have been already having meetings with Kitty? Been already having meetings with Najee, and they just not executed. But that's the part where, as a player, we'd be like, "Bro, are we missing it here? Because this is crazy." But I think that's just the give and take, right? We put it on ourselves as players. You was like, you know, it's got to be on that dude up there. We're like, bro, that dude ain't doing this, man. I'm not saying it's not on the players. In the terms, offensive coordinator just needs to be more of a help than a hindrance for an offense. Dude, they're not go both ways, though. Will you they make can. that statement? They can, you, but, but you make the statement We've only seen three singularly. years in Matt Canada. Bro, all right, all right. We'll agree to disagree. You know that. So for this game, I actually think the offense does pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. I think we go back to some 2022 week 10 to week 18 type of stuff. Carolina or Atlanta? Any of those games. Okay. You, okay. you know how our offense was we looking was after the bye. Yeah. I swim because Carolina, that's when Deontay went crazy. So what that means is Najee has a good game. Najee gets the rock okay. 15, 20 times. I do think he gets between 70 and 80 yards. So, uh, you know, if I'm going to look at the over-unders and the props for this week, I, I'll, yeah. pro- I'll probably take a Najee rushing over. They're probably going to only have him for like 40 rushing I yards. I want him to get the 20 touches. I think, you think he, gets he gets the 20? I think he gets, uh, I, I think he gets 70 to 80 yards. Okay. Total or 20 right? touches. I, I think man, I think Jalen steals. Hard runs. I want some runs, Jay, man. Jalen might steal some. Okay. Our O line looks better coming out of the mm-hmm. bye. Canada heeds Cole, Mason Cole, and Najee's advice on some of these plays. Okay. Sets them up for some better success. And it's a mix of touchdowns and field goals for this offense, and it's also keeping the Rams and Stafford and Cup off the field. Which is defense. also key. I'm telling yeah. you, the, the formula we're going to see in this game is going to look eerily similar to last year. Yeah. And I'll be happy with it because that it means crazy, we're playing winning football. We're playing complimentary football. Yeah. And then the defense, like I said, uh, yeah. just get JPJ out there, please. Please get him out there. He's going to get his opportunity, baby. He's going to get them opportunities, man. Please get him out there. And Steeler Nation, pray for T.J. Watts Hill for the rest of the days leading Steelers up to this game. Steelers Jesus, where you at, Steelers Jesus? Go put yeah. your, 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 I don't know if he got holy oil. oil, oil. I ain't seen Steelers Jesus. He got some type of oil. I don't know if it's holy. But rub whatever you be carrying with you, man. Get get, get my man T.J. right back. We already talked about it. Yeah, we need T.J. right back. Get after Stafford. Stop the run. Yeah. 
And secondary, just hold on. Just hang on. The beauty is, once again, though, even if TJ isn't available, you still got Highsmith. You still got Golden. We got it again. You still got Herbie. You still get pressure. You still got guys. You got Larry. You got DeMarvin. We've seen Keanu showing some stuff in terms of his uh, winning in the trenches. So we still have guys, multiple bodies that we could throw out there to still have impact. Now, granted, we know none of them are TJ, but you at least feel better. I think Minka makes an appearance this game. Yeah. Does some splash. Little pick. Yeah. Maybe a little pick six. I got it similar to you. 24. I don't know why. 24. 17? Like, Where you at? 19 is coming oh, into my mind. Ew, 19. That's a weird one. All right. Maybe Rams go for two. Don't get it. Okay. Something like that. 24-19. Okay. I wanted to say 24-21, but that's too clean of a score. 24-19. You know it's going to be a stink. We're going to have something stink in there, man. 24-19. Yeah. Steelers win. Mm-hmm. Balls, money. Kenny throwing 80% completion out there. Najee, good game. Deontay's presence is felt. Mm. He's a good safety valve for Kenny. He gets like six, seven catches, 60, 70 yards at least. And Pickens, yeah, we get we get a couple of those plays from last week where you just chuck it up to him. He's down. He, he's oh, is, down. It, is it on your boy? Who? Akello? Yeah, there's, there's at least one. <laughs> there's at least one. I'm about to say, you know who it's going to be on, bro. Yeah. Yeah, there's at least one <laughs> you know for it's sure. Be one. Either it's gonna be revenge for Akello, or we gonna be feeling great about the booth. It's, it's one or the other, bro. But that's the way you gotta attack. Bro. I hope we get some stuff to like <laughs> Pat ready, and even Pickens over the middle. But I think yeah. it's gonna be a lot more of the sideline stuff that we were yeah. seeing last week against yeah. the Ravens. Mm-hmm. We go test you. But I like it. We go test you. Uh, that's the formula right there. Steelers win 24-19. Let's go. Let's go.